This video will cover content color schemes in detail. By the end of this video, you'll understand the difference between content and other dynamic color schemes and know when, why, and how to apply content color in your app. Though apps often contain image content, not all scenarios need content-based color. Apply content color judiciously when it enhances the product's identity in Material 3's spirit of personalization and when it supports usability. For example, a music app may apply color from album art to emphasize its rich content and strengthen the user's personal connection to their music library. Or a news aggregation app may apply color from publishers' brands to distinguish them and help users navigate the platform. Content Color supports Material 3's core values of comfort, spirit, and personalization by providing a range of expressive and practical benefits to a product. Expressively, Content Color conveys meaning, brand expression, and visual richness, and reinforces users' personal connection to in-app content and brands. Practically, Content Color aids usability and user comfort by building visual hierarchy, helping users process and understand information, and guiding and orienting users through context, actions, and flows. Content-based schemes and user color schemes share common foundations, but are not identical. Compared to user color schemes, the content scheme has been tailored to better match content, such as by allowing a greater range of neutral colors. When using Material Theme Builder to create color schemes from images, make sure to generate the correct type of scheme. Look at where content exists in the app and where applying color based on that content benefits the user experience. An app's existing structure should present places where content color can appear, yet still be clearly contained within a delineated, organized space. When different types of information exist on the same screen, applying content-based color adds structure and hierarchy. This helps direct a user's attention by highlighting important parts of the screen. In lists and other collections of repetitive or difficult to distinguish items, apply content-based color to link relevant elements together. This allows users to connect groups of information together, such as a list item with its associated action. Within an app, applying immersive content-based color to a particular screen or flow can help orient users within a particular space or task initiated from content, such as a media control or a purchase flow. Keep color schemes visible on the same screen to ensure that users understand where content-based color originates. Avoid applying content color where the content providing the color is not visible. Too many color schemes on the same screen creates confusion. Limit a screen to two color schemes from different source types. Thus, a baseline or user color scheme can be combined with one type of on-screen content, such as album art. Use caution when applying content color in places where a semantic or conventional color is critical to the product's usability. For example, a typically red error message or a typically green positive action should not be replaced with dynamic content color, which may impede a user's conventional understanding. 